Oshkosh calls many and many answers. Here's the show. Oh, yeah. Sorry. How you All doing, right. man? Sorry. All hey, right. what's up, man? It's good to see you. Um, so we're recording. I don't know if you know that. I didn't know, no. Okay. Well, we just go right into it. Um, well, um, this is... Uh, we introduce ourselves, or I introduce you. I, they'll figure out. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's introduce each other. Huh? Yeah, let's introduce each other. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, do I say that? Sure. I just I, I I think you just say it. Uh, this is uh, Josh Blue. Thank you, uh, and uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Manny Holavera, the Grey Greek. I'm not Greek. You know I'm not Greek. No, yeah, but you like gyros, so. <laughs> Yeros. Gyros. Yeros. See, only a Greek would be that concerned with the pronunciation. No, it's just that's the pronunciation. Gyros. It's not. It's not indigenous to Greek people. That's what it's called. It's called gyros. Gyro. Gyros. 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 It sounds the same when I say it. Gyros. <laughs> it's not the same. I'm saying what you're saying. Okay. Ye. Ye. Ros. Gyros. <laughs> gyros. Say it again. Ye, ye, gross, gyros, ye. Oh man. <sighs> okay, sorry, man. Uh, anyway, this is Manny. He's not Greek. He's a, a comedian, an aging comedian. And, uh, <laughs> and you're not aging. I'm, I'm aging too. I just. I just seem, I feel like it's more uh, pronounced in your career. Well, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm from a, a different generation than you are. Yeah, this is the... Remember the first time we met? Do you remember that? Yeah, I mean, it was in uh, 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 Myrtle Beach. Yep. California, huh? Yeah. And you, you were an asshole from the second I met you. Well, the club made you pick me up. Right? Yeah. And you were opening for me. Yes. I'm the headliner. And, uh, yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's establish that now. Yeah. yeah. You <laughs> I didn't even know who you were. Everybody was talking about you. You had one last comic. I never watched Last Comic Standing. Yeah, me neither. Not a fan. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I don't think they should have those kinds of comedy competitions. Give everybody the same joke, like the aristocrats. Uh, well, I'd be pretty grateful for that show, Manny, because without that show, we wouldn't be here doing this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I see your bed. You what? Is that your bed? Yeah, I'm in my bedroom. Okay. That's where the computer is. Is that a self-portrait back there? Uh, I I didn't do it, so, yes. I mean, <laughs> <don't know this. laughs> yes. How do, you, how do you say that? It says it's a portrait of me that I self didn't do. Oh, okay. So it's not a self portrait. It's just a portrait of you. It's a portrait. Okay. And uh, so anyway, going back to picking you up at the airport. No, you picked me up at the hotel, didn't you? No, I picked you up at the airport. Oh, you had to pick me up from the airport. That's hilarious. I know. And then when I picked you up, you were immediately... Needy? Yes. Well, you smelled like cigarettes and elderberries. And elderberries? I, I didn't smell like cigarettes or elderberries. Cigarettes mainly. No, I didn't smell like cigarettes. You did. You're a smoker, right? I mean, yeah, I'm a smoker. You and so are you. Of a different substance. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's Colorado. You can't do nothing. <laughs> S 
stupid. So you're in Atlanta now, right? Yep. Okay, and I'm in Denver, just to establish where we are. Anyway, back to the airport ride. Uh, what I remember about the car ride was it was like maybe a nine-minute drive, and within that drive, like we completely hated each other in a, the most loving way possible. Yeah. Instantly, best of enemies. No, I just don't know. I, I didn't. You know, it's like I, I didn't. I didn't really care about the palsy thing. I'm going, if this guy, an asshole is an asshole with or without palsy. Yeah, and that's how I felt about you, too. <laughs> Not with the palsy, you know what I mean? It's like, an asshole's an asshole, even if you're an asshole. You know? Right. Now, would you prefer I had palsy? Not really. I mean, I think I, uh, I got enough for both of us. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And then we get... So anyway, I drop you off at the hotel. Yeah, I check in. Beautiful hotel, by the way. Just yeah, beautiful. very nice. Anyway. And then I went, I went back, and then I had to come and pick you up. A short time later, right? Yeah. And you kept asking if you had to be there so early. Yeah, I mean, was didn't they want to stay like an hour and a half before the show or something? No. They wanted there uh, at least a half hour before the show. I had to be there a half hour before the well, show. Well, I, I want to be there a half hour early, so, but maybe I was just being a, a punk, but go on. So then we get there, and we walk into the club. We go into the little green room there, and then you look at me and say, get me some coffee, bitch. Oh, yeah, go, go get me some coffee, bitch. And I went, and I said, oh, okay, that's fine. And the coffee was located, like, on the other side of the club. So I went and got the coffee. I said, and I'm, I'm yelling back to you, what do you want in it? And you told me. Cream sugar. Yeah. Yeah. And then I, I made the coffee. It was piping hot. And walked away from the coffee and said, you go get it, bitch. And knowing that you couldn't even, you couldn't have carried it that far. And that's how we wasted a cup of coffee because I never got it. Yeah, you did. And I get a straw that makes someone else do it. Straw, yeah, that's the other thing too. What's up with the straw? Uh, I mean, you've seen me drink before, so. Yeah, and eat. eat. I should eat with a straw too. <laughs> I like to get those, um, you know, those boba tea, those big straw, and then I yeah. like to drink clam chowder with it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> clam chowder through a straw? Yeah. The big chunks. <laughs> it's like eating vomit. Big chunks coming through. Man, my buddy told me the funniest goddamn story. He said, when his son was like a little baby, he was holding him, and he was cooking some food. And, uh, like he looked at his arm, and he's like, "Oh, uh, I got some clam chowder on my arm." And he licked it, and it was baby vomit. <laughs> oh God! I'll tell you a great story. There's a friend of mine who who shall remain nameless. Tom? Is it Tom? In Alabama. Okay. And uh, after the show, he meets this girl, and. Uh, he um, he decides he's going to go back to her house with her. Well, actually, back to her trailer. So they get back to the car, and they're having sex. And right in the middle of sex, he has to throw up. It so happens. He leans to the left and throws up and didn't realize until the next morning he threw up on her baby. <laughs> oh man <laughs> wow that is uh, that is a story there <laughs> wow you were thrown up during sex well I'm sure your partners have <laughs> yeah, no, I've been thrown up on for sure <laughs> that's foreplay in my house 
Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> uh, this uh, this little chat we're having, I, I think we should have a name to it, right? I mean, I like the gentleman's rapport. That was right now. It's called the Blue Room. Yeah, definitely named after me. A, 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 a gentleman's rapport. You mean because we have rapport with one another? No, I just thought it, it sounded nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rapport. What, I mean, am, am I using the wrong word? Rapport. No, I mean, rapport. We have rapport. Do you know how to spell rapport? Uh, I no. I mean, I could probably guess a couple of letters. <laughs> and by R. R is good. R is good. P O R. No, I think it's R A P P O R T. You don't even know? No. Uh -oh. I was asking you. Why would I ask you if I knew? It? Apparently, you don't know me well in <laughs> to ask me about spelling something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dumb as shit when it comes to spelling. I'm not gonna lie. Do you read? No, read neither or math. Okay. So and, just, and yet, look at how far you've come. Yeah, you don't need no book learning to get where I got. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you consider yourself an educated man. Yeah, I feel like I'm very educated. It's not like I don't. I, I do a lot of audio book intake and, you know. Uh, well, that's, that's a form of reading, I guess. Well, it's well, it's not the act of reading the words. So to me, no, I can do it, but it's laborious and not. Well, what have you listened to lately? Oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, uh, I've been into some. Charles Bukowski, a lot of Bukowski. Bukowski, I'm not familiar. You don't know Charles Bukowski? No. Get the fuck out of here. You should. Do you do audiobook? Uh, no, I haven't. Yeah, you know, I haven't been doing anything. Can you read? Yes, I can read. Okay, well, try Bukowski. You love it. Oh, what are some of his books? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Ham on Rye is a funny one. Post office. Um, there's a bunch of them. He's amazing. Really crass, dirty, all about fucking and fighting and drinking too much. Sounds like Hunter Thompson. Yeah, it's even more simple in a way, but like the simplicity. Of, in what way? Like the color? The simplicity of the, the commonality of the. It's just like a, a guy, and it's so. Effortless. It's weird. You check it out. I will. I'll send you some links. Oh, thanks. You're too good to me. I could play you a piece on my phone. What? No, nah, nothing. You uh, the um, I'm looking through my notes here. <laughs> oh, you have notes for this shit? Yeah, because it's uh, let me look at it. Oh man, that's what it, early on, I don't know, because we've been friends for over 10 years, but I mean, early on, I remember at the time you were in downtown Denver. Okay. There was a preacher. Well, okay, well, let's set it up better then, because okay. you and I, from, from when we worked together in Myrtle Beach and the coffee incident, we became best of friends, like I said, like we called each other regularly, but it was always harassing you stupid motherfucker, you know, just like, but like the best uh, rapport ever, uh, I thought, because it wasn't lovey-dovey, it was uh, who could cut the deepest. And then I was, but it wasn't adversarial. That's a good way to put it, it wasn't adversarial. So one time I was walking downtown Denver, busy Denver, and I walked past one of those preachers on the corner, you know, they're holding the flags, you will go to hell if you are gay, or blah, blah, pencil dick.
you know, all those horrible things. Like, what the hell? So it was really religious. And I'm on the phone with you. And then I just stopped and I go, excuse me, sir. My son, my, my, my friend really needs your message told to him. And I, and I handed him my phone. And he's like, what's his name? I said, Manny. 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 Do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? And he had my phone for what, 10 minutes? Yeah. And the whole time I'm cussing you out, I go, what an asshole. How could you do this to me? Speaker phone, it was great. Yeah, but then you kept you kept egging him on. I was in the back and going, Amen. That's right. Praise <laughs> Jesus. Amen. Mm, hand up. Hand, other hand up. Okay. Fix this one. Uh. One time I had a guy on the street, the same street, stop me. He's like, come here, hold your hold your wonky hand out. And I was like, okay. And he like started going woo, 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 around it. And he's like, do you feel it? Do you feel it? I'm like, oh, I feel it already. <laughs> Since then it got worse. Oh, is it? After that guy put that curse on it. <laughs> Oh God! You feel it? Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> right. We've done. I mean, we worked together a lot. I mean, the time we worked in Atlanta, we worked there a bunch together, right? Yeah. Do you remember we went to a? We were looking for a Japanese restaurant. Get out of here! Where was that? Was that Atlanta? Yeah, we were looking for a Jap. I forget who was with us. Who was with us? Chuck. Oh, okay. Comedian Chuck. We were looking for a Japanese restaurant. We were looking for any restaurant. Yeah. We were starving. We couldn't find anything, right? Nothing was open. We find this one place, and you're telling us, don't worry, I got it handled. I speak Japanese. I speak a little Japanese. And then everyone was like, oh, we don't want Japanese food. We want to fill up. And I'm like, no, fellas, don't worry. Maybe I'll get them to cook us a couple burgers in the back for us. And we went in the front door, and then there was another door that yeah, was, we locked. Had to ring the it was locked, and they had to ring the doorbell, which, you know, I thought was weird for a restaurant, but, and then the lady came to the door in the leather, what was she wearing, a leather, uh, she was wearing a, no, she was wearing a kimono, a silk kimono. And, she, and and they said, well, we're, you know, but at this point, I'm thinking, okay, Josh will take over. You had left. I ran out. I wasn't ready for it. I, well, it wasn't a restaurant. No, it was definitely a hand job place. Um, I mean, I, I established that later in the evening when I went back there. <laughs> <laughs> I did the reconnaissance work. I was like, you know, we we got to know. So, great place. No yep. burgers, though. <laughs> How much was it? Uh, uh, it was a lot. Uh. I mean, because of all the times I went back. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> since then. <laughs> so it's a big thumbs up? Yeah. I Let's just say I love going to Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Oh God! Ah. Um. Uh. You okay, boy? Yeah, I'm all right. This whole pandemic thing has just been it's, it's hit me kind of high. But you know, I feel a lot better now that I see you. Yeah, man, and you too. And I think we should continue to call each other and let's have have a daily talk and uh, remind ourselves life ain't so bad. It could be worse, you know. Oh. Well, by by me seeing you every day, I realize that I could be in your position. <laughs> uh, you are just you're such a Christian. Well, I know you're feeling down and kind of depressed and. I really want to help you out. And this is supposed to help? 
Well, I just think that uh, I can keep pointing out how much worse it could be. How much what? Worse it could be. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be all right. No, I don't think so. Remember the time we were talking and you spit gum in my mouth? <laughs> well, you were like arguing with me and I, I just like donned him. I was like, that's the perfect way to end this conversation. You're like, and I'm not the You were angry. Anyway, friend, um, I, I, let's, let's talk tomorrow. Let's do it again. You want to do it again tomorrow? Yeah. What time? It doesn't matter, man. I love you, brother.